Swing away, baby. <laughs> Still bunning as OJ. He takes it low. It's two balls and two strikes. They figured I had as much chance making contact swinging as I did bunt. Vukovic going through the signs. Bobby Cox and Leo Mazzoni on his rocking chair. <laughs> He's still bunting and he bunts it foul. He is a strikeout victim. Second strikeout for Maddox. Two down here in the second. Let's watch OJ here. The ball's coming in. He just kind of he starts to that one's not as bad as the others, but if you want to think about just think about the, the bat being a glove, just like you're gonna catch it. You want to try and catch that ball with the bat. Two down with a run across here in the second for Doug Glanville. He grounded his short his first time up. <laughs> and strike to Glanville. Annex has already thrown. 42 pitches. It's a lot of pitches for Maddox. I mean, sometimes he'll go through a nine inning complete game throwing 89 or yep. in the 80s total pitches. We're in the second inning. He's already thrown 43. You get a tribute part of that to the Phillies offense, obviously. Yeah. I mean, these guys, it's it's a good hitting machine. Struck out Glanville, the third strikeout for Maddox, but the Phillies get on the board with a run on three hits, no errors, and two left. We go to the bottom of the second, one nothing, Phillies. Okay, babe, here we go. Um, now, move over to the right. Um, no, the other way, my right. A little more. Mm, a little more. Perfect. How was it? Beautiful. If you think the Cavalier looks good, wait till you know it can go up to 100,000 miles before its first scheduled tune-up. Chevy Cavalier. The more you know, the better it looks. Genuine Chevrolet. You may know Marty Weinberg is a tough Philadelphia prosecutor, but he's also been a teacher who's just as tough when it comes to improving education. The Weinberg plan? Have the superintendent report directly to the mayor. No more passing the buck. Set stricter standards for students and schools. And take disruptive kids out of the classroom. Marty Weinberg, a tough prosecutor who knows how to fight crime. An outstanding teacher who knows how to improve our schools. Isn't that what we need from our next mayor? Bill Dwyer alongside me, the professor, Matt Vaskersian. Up ahead, plenty of MLB 2000 action. In Boston, we'll see Kenny Lofton, Rob Garcia Perra, worse than the IRS. You want receipts? I got receipts. In Cincinnati, Greg Maddox, ninth inning, sit down and shut up. In New York, Jorge Posada finds out what it feels like to be an unlucky animal taking a dirt nap on the Jersey Turnpike. These highlights plus Travis Lee, A Rod, and the Rocket coming right up. Women 15 and over get a photo frame free. Sunday, May 16th at 135. When the Phillies play the Mets, call 215-463-1000 or order anytime at phillies.com. Bottom of the second here at Turner Field. Phil's on top, one nothing. Brian Jordan leads it off for Atlanta. Jordan had a good Braves debut, three for four with a home run in last night's game. One strike to Brian Jordan. Was an all pro defensive back in football right here in Atlanta for the Falcons. One 
and a one. Grip of that ball, two balls and a strike to Brian Jordan. Bills leading one nothing. We are in the bottom of the second. That's for the curve ball, three and one. Side walk in the second walk given up by Chad OJ. As we close the books on the 20th century, we'd like to know what stands out as your favorite Phillies moment. Visit the Phillies website at www.phillies.com. Go to the general info section under survey and vote for the greatest Phillies moment of the past 100 years. This season long celebration will culminate with a grand ceremony of these great moments picked by you on Sunday, August 8th. Ryan Klesko was one for four yesterday. Well hit to center field. Glanville back. Won't get it. Dead center field home run. Ryan Klesko and the Braves take a two to one lead here in the second. Well, if there's ever a no doubt about it, that was one of them. Dead center. He just sat on a fastball. OJ after the walk. A lot of times the hit'll go up there, and he'll just look for a fastball, and he got one. Labertal sitting outside. I tell you what, that's a that's a strong man to hit a ball that far because that pitch was on the outside part of the plate. The only thing is it was up, so he could reach it, and reach it he did. One strike to Andrew Jones. Braves hit a lot of home runs. They set a franchise record last year with 215 home runs. Some of the curve ball, one on one to Andrew Jones. Jones was 0 for 4 yesterday. A while since he's had a hit, he finished the spring over his last 19 in exhibition league play. Ryan Klesko has given the Braves a two to one lead here in the second. Field corner Andrew Jones on his way to second and he will go in with a double. Well, he gets out in front of this off speed pitch Roland looks like he thought he was going to be able to catch it stay on his feet and maybe try and make a play. A lot of times you'll see Roland dive for that ball I think. Kind of thought that he might have a chance had he stayed on his feet. Brings on Eddie Perez, the catcher. Perez did not play in yesterday's game. Javi Lopez, he had 336 last year, six homers and 61 ball games. The runner along bunts it foul. There's Javi Lopez. Andy Perez who catches with Maddox pitches. Five 
foul out of the reach of Rico Bronya. No balls and two strikes to Eddie Perez. Perez is consciously trying to move that runner along. I think Lieberthal is probably trying to figure out what they want to do now with two strikes. Perez doing a good job of trying to go that way, trying to go to the right side to get that runner to third with less than two outs. Now he's just got to try and put the ball in play. away from Lieberthal safe all around. It'll be a strikeout wild pitch. I look like Lieberthal tried to catch it with his glove. He got caught in between started to reach for it and then turned around and tried to block it but still had his glove down and that's what happened. The ball went off his glove. What you want to do is Get that glove down between your legs, let it come up, and block it with your chest protector. Well, again, Lieberthal and Chad OJ communicating here. Philly's looking for an out. Two runs across, runners at first and third, and the batter will be Walt Weiss. This was one for four in the opener yesterday, a triple. Long ball, Rico Bronia has it. They'll get him out at first. Coming in to score is Jones, going to second Perez. Give Weiss a run batted in, and the Braves now lead it three to one here in the second. A good job by Rico, saving his ball from getting to the outfield. Goes a long ways there. Knocks it down. Had nowhere to go but to OJ at first. And OJ does a good job. He didn't give up on it. He kept going to first to get that out. And it'll bring up Greg Maddox. Maddox lifetime, a 178 hitter. He's hit two career home runs, both of them when he was pitching for the Cubs. It's in the hole, the deep shortstop. Does he well afford another low and wide throw? And Relliford has not made a good throw yet this season. Made a couple of low ones. Rico saved him on one last night. I guess they'll probably give Maddox a hit on that ball and that he had to go into the hole, but the play Relliford had time to make and just did not. Well, he goes, he circles the ball well, but he had time to plant, and there's no excuse for not doing that. Maddox is running the pitcher. And when he's watching, he throws this ball sidearm, and it's what he's doing. He, he just gets his, drops his elbow down, and he's not starting that ball high enough, plus it's offline. And there's no reason for Desi not making some of the throws these last couple days. He has scored it in there on Relliford. Two men on base, one out for Otis Nixon. Nixon fouled out to Scott Rowland his first time up. Braves have three across. They lead it 3 1 here in the second. Two men on base and one down. Right back at OJ. That should be two. Marlon Anderson's return throw. Nope. Nixon's speed beats it out. There was a little bit of a mix up between Marlon Anderson and Desi Relliford as the coverage. But still, because of Otis Nixon's speed, I think he would have beaten that relay anyhow. Well, he just chops it, gets out in front, and that's all Otis Nixon tries to do. OJ gets it, makes the throw right at the bag. Marlon looked like he kind of had to hold up, not sure if Desi was coming at him or not. 
Brings on Brett Boone, the eighth brave to come to the plate here in the second. There's a first and third with two outs. A stolen base, Otis Nixon, who at age 40 can still run. He stole 37 last year for the Minnesota Twins. The high throw, Lieberthal gets it. Good pitch to throw, but that's just Otis Nixon's speed, and he got a good jump off of OJ. OJ, I don't think, I think he was a little more deliberate on that delivery to the plate. OJ has fallen behind Brett Boone. Three balls and no strikes. Walked him on four pitches, and that will load the bases as the Braves have batted around here in the second. Third walk given up by OJ. Hill and Cisco will come out and talk to Chad OJ. In this inning, Andrew Jones hit a double. Phillies had really handled Andrew Jones prior to tonight. That double that he hit snapped an 0 for 37 against Phillies pitching. Wow. But Ryan Klesko is homered, and the Braves have scored three here. They have the bases loaded with two outs. He's thrown a lot of pitches this inning. 32 pitches overall, but that strike to ball ratio 17 strikes, 15 balls is not good. Chipper Jones struck out his first time up. On ball, Rico Brony, another good play to OJ covering, and that will finally retire the side. Braves bat around. They score three in the inning. They do so with two hits, one error, and they leave the bases loaded after 2 3 1 Atlanta. Some people may have a hard time pronouncing Conchahawken, but at Pico Energy, we simply know it is Conchi. A place with the power to reinvent itself. And we should know. We've been a part of Hector Street and every other street here for over 100 years. And we're now delivering guaranteed savings to all our customers. Because it's your choice. Pico Energy. No doubt about it. Here's a look at the Mellon PSFS financial scoreboard featuring a checking account that will hold your interest until the turn of the century. Stop by any of our offices, including supermarket locations, or call the Mellon Direct 24 Center at 1-800-MELLON-24. Mellon PSFS, the official bank of the Phillies. The corporate thing just didn't work for me. I mean, that's just the politics, but the whole backstabbing, water cooler, chit-chat, and all that, well, garbage. So one day I'm online and I find Beyond.com. Before you know it, I got a home office and I'm living life on my own terms. With Beyond.com, I can stay at home and order all the software I need for my business, and it can be downloaded or delivered to my door. I'm as free as I want to be. Oh, hi. I think it's a great arrangement. Iverson breaks his ankles, gets two and a foul. Snow for Lynch, back to Eric. No, Geiger. It's Iverson's show right now. The floater is gone. Lynch has been wonderful tonight. The fake on Ferry got two. Back door is gone. Oh, oh, he's wow. for two. Iverson nice. spots Grant at the last moment. Iverson challenges. Oh, oh no, what a shot. Iverson up top. Oh, oh, for you. Oh, oh. slam for two. After two innings of play, the Braves on top of the Phillies by a score of 3-1. We move to the top half of the third inning. Well, 
Marlon Anderson will lead it off for the Phils here in the third. Anderson grounded out his first time up. Thing to Marlon Anderson. One one. Keeps the foul out of play. to Marlon. Inside with a fastball. In the center field, Andrew Jones has it lined up. Anderson is out one down. Don't forget opening day Monday at Veterans Stadium at 3.05. Kite Man delivers the first ball. Boys, the man will sing the national anthem. Great opening day with lots of excitement. The Phillies and these Braves. Order your tickets by calling 215-463-1000. Or you can order anytime online at phillies.com. Roland hits it well to the opposite field. The playing in deep was Brian Jordan who makes the play for two quick outs here in the third. First baseman Nico Bronia. Brings on Rico Bronia who was called out on strikes his first time up. Strike to Rico Bronio. And drive hit to left center field. Nixon over to cut it off. That's Philly's fifth hit off Maddox. Philly's about hit the Braves. 5 2, but trailing in the game 3 to 1. Rico just goes the other way with this fastball down and away, stays right on it. A big difference in that score at 3 to 1, and the two hits for Atlanta have also got three walks in there. And a strikeout wild pitch. Ron Gant grounded the third his first time up. Beats it foul. Not much of an effort by third base coach John Vukovic on the foul ball. <laughs> his Vuk. Picture of good moods. <laughs> yeah, you can usually tell by Book's demeanor whether the Phillies are ahead or behind in a ball game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One on the count to Ron Gant. Bronian first, two down here in the third inning. Foul it off, one ball and two strikes. First 
Breaking ball, Gant is rung up, and that's the fourth strikeout for Maddox. For the Phils in the third, no runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of the third. It is three to one, Atlanta. Home opener, April 12th, Atlanta Braves. April 14th and 15th. Florida Marlins. April 16th, 17th, and 18th. Call 215-463-1000. There's ordinary beer. Then there's the smooth, refreshing taste of Michelob Light. Beer or Michelob? Breakout! Breakout at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Big savings on a huge selection of cars and trucks. Get 1500 cash back on Escort and ZX2. Ford Escort, ranked best in initial quality. Ford ZX2, available with 130 horsepower, 16 valve ZTEC engine. Both are loaded with extras, and both with $1,500 cash back. Break out with Ford Escort and ZX2. They're built to last. Only from your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Phillies Baseball is brought to you by smooth, rich-tasting Michelob. Beer or Michelob. And by your Quality Plus Ford dealers. Bottom of the third, Braves lead at 3-1. Brian Jordan will lead off. He started that three-run second with a walk and scored a run his first time up. This is the changeup, one strike to Jordan. Head into right center field. And Brian Jordan in the early going is four for five now as a Brave. Hey, OJ started with first pitch change up and then had a fastball. He didn't want it up there, but actually, I mean, if that's where he wanted it, was a good pitch, but he, Jordan just fought it off. That was just strength. Here's Ryan Klesko. He got the big blow, a two run center field home run, his first time up. Missing with a curveball, one ball and no strikes. Two and nothing. Plus goes first time up. Fresh to fastball over the center field fence. Jordan runner at first nobody out here in the bottom of the third. And a good 2 0 curve ball. Two balls and a strike to Klesko. Two and one nobody out. Here. Generally a good time to run. Ah! 
hidden as Plesko swings through the pitch two and two. As he throws Brian Jordan out for the second time in this series, and Lieberthal, another great throw, one down. Got a pretty good jump there. OJ fairly quick to the plate on this, but Lieberthal just, I mean, Desi doesn't even have to move his glove. That is a, a big help to a pitcher anytime, but also it's going to help the team as a whole as scouts watch this. Advanced scouts say, hey, we got to be careful about running on Lieberthal. Tesco works a walk. That is the fourth walk given up by OJ tonight. And we'll bring up Andrew Jones. He doubled and scored a run his first time up. Strike to Andrew Jones. Missing with a curveball, one on one. Let's lead the Florida Marlins 7 1. That's in the sixth inning. Mike Piazza, two run homer for New York. That's hitting it off LeVon Hernandez. Florida won first game of that series. Now hit to settle. The ground out. has a beat on it. Andrew Jones is retired. That's two outs. And brings on Eddie Perez. He struck out but was safe on a wild pitch his first time up. Like Andrew Jones, not real happy with himself there. Thought he had a pitch to hit. And got under it. Klesko, runner at first base with two outs here in the third. And strike to Eddie Perez. Center field, Glanville over to cut it off. Fusco have to hold out at third, and Eddie Perez at first. Good cut off by Glanville. And the Braves have runners at first and third with two outs for Walt Weiss. Yeah, good job by Glanville there, too. Eddie Perez made a big turn at first base. If Glanville throws that to the cutoff, man, Desi lined up towards third. Perez can keep going. Lamville wisely stops plants and makes a strong throw into second base to keep Perez at first. Bobby Cox. For these Braves. And how many consecutive division titles? Seven. Seven is all. 
Seven and only seven. One ball and no strikes to Walt Weiss. It's a situation where Chad OJ can be careful. You got the pitcher on deck in Maddox, although he's not an automatic out. I'm sure, he's an easier out than Walt Weiss. You go 2 0, oh, it's not a big deal if you load the bases to me. Don't want to give in here. He didn't throw him a curveball, and it's three balls and no strikes to Walt Weiss. This is a situation where I think some pitchers get fooled and thinking, well, it's 3-0, they're going to take, but you got the pitcher on deck. Sometimes they'll have the green light sure. here. In the inside corner might have had the green light, but that was a pitch in on his hand, so he wasn't going to swing at it. Three and one. Him up in the shallow right center. Marlon Anderson makes the call. And they will retire the side. No runs for Atlanta. Two hits, no errors. They leave two. Chris Wheeler joins Larry Anderson. The fourth. It's 3 1 Atlanta. of the internet is not in the future. It's now. The bandwidth to change everything. Ride the light. The hers don't use just any potatoes. But then the hers don't make just any potato chip. Make the great taste of hers. 20 years ago, 17 defiant teenagers faced a brutal challenge. To be scared straight. We are convicts. But who were they? We play for keeps in here. The award-winning documentary returns in a powerful sequel. Find out who went straight and who didn't. My wife stops it. This is it. Danny Glover reveals the truth about the kids, the cons, and what really happened. Scared straight. 20 years later. Coming April 15th on UPN 57. And back here at Turner Field after three innings of play. The Braves three, the Phillies one. Coming April 26th, the UPN from the producers of Dr. Katz comes the animated comedy home movies. Don't miss the series premiere Monday, April the 26th after Dilbert on UPN 57. Bobby Abreu leads it off for the Phillies here in the fourth inning. Abreu singled his first time up. And Maddox starts him with strike one. Well, he's only trailed this by two. It could be a lot worse. Yes, it could. Thanks to Rico Bronia. Made some great plays. Chases one of the dirt, strike two. It'll be Abreu, Lieberthal, Relaford, and then the pitcher OJ due to bat. Probably Abreu briefly dropped under 300 for the first time in his Phillies career with the volatile averages. He's now at 400. There's that pitch from Maddox. Starts it at the left handed batter, runs it over the plate, got the strike. It's so tough not to give up on it. It's coming inside. The thing that Maddox will do is he'll throw a fastball that'll cut in towards you, then he'll throw when it comes back to the plate. And that ball I thought was a little low, and I thought also. Gant got called out on a low strike last time up. Look at Maddox's unbelievable years. He didn't get the Cy Young here. Led the league in earned run average. 
You know, Andy, last year as Lieberthal gets another hit. Oh, is he hot? Two for two tonight. Had two hits yesterday. He's just hanging right around 500 or better. Mike Lieberthal just off to a great start. Oh, he's on fire. He just locked in. Mike Lieberthal gets locked in. This guy can hit. <laughs> yeah, and before long, he starts to get him in the air and he'll hit some homers, yes. too. Saying about Maddox, you remember last year for the first, what, two, three months, he was, he was going to win the Cy Young. Then he got that pectoral problem, that, and he didn't pitch real well the last couple months of the season, at least not well for him. He was 15 and 5 at one point with the 153 right. earned run average. I mean, he had the Cy Young it Award locked, locked up yeah. last year. In fact, he would have been the first five time Cy Young Award winner. And then uh, he didn't pitch as well, and Tom Glavin won the Cy Young Award. There's Glavin. He certainly deserved it. Desi hits one in the air to center field, an easy play for Andrew Jones. Welford has knocked in the Phillies one run in the game. Now they're two away, and OJ will bat. Schedule poster that'll be on Sunday, the 18th of April. The Phillies and the Florida Marlins. It's a big, colorful schedule poster for all fans. Perfect for hanging anywhere to refer to all season long. So make your plans to come out. Order tickets by phone 215-463-1000, or you can order anytime online at phillies.com. It's just a pure family day. OJ struck out, attempting to bunt in the third inning. Stands way off the plate. Swings and misses. He did have two sacrifices in interleague play while with the Cleveland Indians. Wanted to know if that was a good pitch, and I guess Charlie Relliford told him yes. Strike two. That was even better. Yeah. Ryan Klesko, the first baseman, basically playing off Lieberthal at first with two outs and the pitcher batting, figuring Lieberthal is not going to run. There you see him about ready to drift back. Ball to center. Jones makes that cool catch of his. Third out of the inning. No runs a hit. No errors. Phil's leave one. 3 1. Atlanta leads it. Hmm. I can grant you eight wishes. Eight? Eight wishes. <laughs> I'm serious. Hmm. I can give you nine. Really? Nine wishes. Nine. New win for life. Eight chances at $1,000 a week for life, plus a ninth chance to win instant cash. So stop wishing and start winning. Everybody, get ready. Okay. There's me, and there's my 4x4. Four four. I'm picking up some speed. Here I go. Up. Woo! Look at me move. And I look great doing it. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Look out, everybody. Here comes the coma man. You're the bomb, baby. The bomb. The man. Eh. So, what do you think? I am everyday people. Don't trust no one but your family. Put all the love a show when I'm around. I wonder where they show it back when I'm down. But you a fool when you finally drop. I thank the Lord for everything I got. <laughs> and there's no limit till my time stops. Uh. Foolish. Foolish. Rated R. Starts Friday. Phillies baseball is brought to you by the Pennsylvania Lottery. Players must be 18 or older. Lottery proceeds benefit older Pennsylvanians. And by your local Toyota dealers. Just a reminder about some upcoming television dates. Tomorrow night, the Phillies and the Atlanta Braves right here from Turner Field. We will be on Comcast Sportsnet, and that game will be on in the air at 7.30. Now, write this down for Thursday night. Big ceremony for Hank Aaron here, so we're going to have a later start. Game was supposed to be at 7.40. It's going to be at 8.05, so we will be on UPN 57 beginning at 8 o'clock on Thursday night. It'll be the anniversary of Hammer and Hank breaking Babe Ruth's record with that Home run over Atlanta Fulton County Stadium off Al Downing. And he hit number 715. That kind of ironic. Hank Aaron threw out the first ball in Seattle where he said he thought if anybody was going to break his record, it'd be Ken Griffey Jr. Right. And you see number 715 out there in the alleys and left and right center field. Hank Aaron 
You know, we didn't get to see Ruth, obviously, but we did get to see Hank Aaron play, and what a thrill it was to watch him play all those years. Greg Maddox swings and fouls it at the plate. He lived on an error. I can't, I can't believe you didn't take that. I was waiting for you to say, well, you probably did. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. I did point to you, though, on lottery yeah. proceeds benefit older, older Pennsylvanians. Pennsylvanians. Right. Yeah, I got a lot of nerve to do that to you. <laughs> One ball and one strike on Maddox, the top of the order, then Otis Nixon and Brett Boone to follow. Breaking ball from OJ. Came out in the first inning and got him out and then struggled mightily in the second, although there were some strange defensive plays also. And then got out of a jam in the third. Strike call. Two and two to Maddox, a lifetime 178 hitter with two homers and 45 runs batted in. Batted 240 for the Braves last year. One of his two lifetime home runs off the Phillies into the street at Wrigley Field off Kyle Abbott in a night game at Wrigley a long time ago. Hard to believe he never never pitched for the Braves. But he actually won one of the Cy Young Awards with the Cubs. Three balls and two strikes to him. Hammers it foul down the third baseline. Three balls and two strikes on Greg Maddox leading off the fourth inning. He and the Braves lead three to one, and he fouls it again down the third baseline. OJ has two strikeouts thus far. But more importantly, he's walked four. One of them scoring. Uh oh. Take a ride on this. He's hit three lifetime homers, two of them against the Phillies. Maddox makes it four to one. Now you see a different expression is Leo Mazzoni, the pitching coach for Atlanta versus Terry Francona, the manager for the Phillies. One happy, one sad. The problem is OJ's going to, as you look at Leo Mazzoni, there he is. I mean, he loves his pitchers, they love him, but the problem with OJ going three and two, and Maddox just actually just threw some top hand on this, pulls off a little bit. Actually, didn't pull out much at all. He just threw those hands out there. He got a fastball right where probably the only place he can hit it out middle in. Well unfortunately we've seen two of his lifetime three homers. They're announcing it right now Andy that his last home run was in April of 92 against the Phillies April 20th. <laughs> I think we'd already set the stage for that. Marlon Anderson Nixon. Out on the play, one out here in the fourth inning, and it was off Kyle Abbott. Well, Maddox, who does not smile a whole lot during when he pitches, can't help it. I mean, he's it's trying not like to laugh. It's almost like he's embarrassed. He is. He's got as many home runs as Ryan Klesko. He's got more than Chipper. That's exactly right. Brett Boone, the batter. Brett has walked twice. Talk about feeling old. Brett's 30 today. I remember when we first met Brett Boone, he was about a year and 10 months in his first spring training with the Phillies down in Clearwater when Bob Boone was with the Phillies. So happy 30th to Brett. Two balls and one strike to him. He's been very patient tonight. As we mentioned, he's walked twice. There's Leo Mazzoni. And his pupil right beside him. Not sure which one's the pupil. <laughs> Maddox might be the teacher. Yeah. You know, if Greg Maddox were to retire right now, which of course is not even close to happening, he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. So it'll be amazing to see what kind of numbers he puts up before he finishes. One it, four earned run average titles. Yeah, and it's not as if the, the way he pitches puts a lot of strain on him either. 
three consecutive walks issued to Brett Boone. Now Terry Francona is getting a little edgy. See Gail and Cisco going. They're going to get somebody up. I mean, they really wanted to get a good outing out of OJ tonight, and he has been a little shaky. He just actually, the, his last couple games in spring training, he struggled getting pitches up here. It's not so much that he's getting pitches up, that he's just getting behind. He's missing in all different locations, and you just you can't get behind and, and consistently and, and expect to to not get hit. Jones fists one into right field. Abreu can't make the play. Gets away from back up nicely by Glanville. Over to third goes Boone. Runners at the corners now and one away. As Bobby Abreu dove for that ball and didn't get it. Uh, Bobby just looked a little indecisive when he was getting towards this ball. Not sure if he's going to have to dive. And it's almost like when he dives, he he takes his eye off the ball. Kind of he goes to dive and he looks down at the ground. Glanville a good job real good job backing him up to keep Chipper at first. Yeah that ball was catchable. Galen Cisco on his way to the mound. And there's Doug Glanville as Andy just mentioned really did a good job backing him up. So the Phillies have the bullpen up we cannot see into that area so we don't know who it is but it could be Grace. Because he's supposed to be the long man. As Galen Cisco leaves the mound, let's pause for station identification. And this is the Phillies Television Network. You're watching UPN 57, WPSG TV in Philadelphia. And those are the guys who aren't throwing, and Mike Grace is not there. So it's got to be Grace. We are in the fourth inning. Braves lead at four to one, looking for more with Brian Jordan, who's been on twice tonight, walked, scored a run, and single. Jordan had a big game yesterday. One of the two additions they made in the offseason, Brett Boone and Brian Jordan. Inside with a fastball, 1 0. That's a pitch there that's a very effective pitch, but you have to come back and throw strikes. And, you know, when you start getting hit, you can move guys off the plate. You need to move guys off the plate, but it doesn't do any good if you don't come back and throw strikes. That was an off speed pitch. Jordan ducks under, crowd boos a little bit, but we'll see what happens here. Well, if it's a fastball, he ducks too late. I mean, <laughs> that's a breaking ball. He just ducked under. And he, that's why there's no, he's not looking at him funny or, you know, making any gestures towards OJ. He knows it's a breaking ball. 69 pitches already. And probably not a real good ratio. Strike call, two and one. Well, coming into the inning, he had thrown 51 pitches at 27 strikes and 24 balls, and that is not going to lead to success. And he's behind another hitter. Three and one with Klesko waiting on deck. There's Ryan Klesko got the Braves on the board tonight. Phillies were leading one to nothing and then a walk and Klesko to two run home run to center. There goes the runner from first a fly ball hit the deep center back goes Glanville it is gone. Another home run Brian Jordan is second in two games and the Braves have taken a seven to one lead on a three run home run to dead center by Brian Jordan. And I don't guess I have to remind you of the count. <laughs> Behind him, three and one. He got a fastball down middle end. Brian Jordan as strong as they come, and he just crushes his ball to center field. Terry Francona making the long walk to the mound. So Chad OJ will go just three and one third inning in his National League debut. Roughed up for seven runs, three of them on long balls. The walks hurt him, and not only the walks, but as Andy just mentioned, many of these hits. Have come with him behind in the count. Well, Mike Grace will be on his way in from the bullpen. Brian Jordan crushes this ball out of the ballpark, and the Braves and Greg Maddox have a 7 1 lead. We'll be right back. Groups of 25 or more. 
discounts every game. Half price nights every month. Group leader bonus programs. Super boxes and pre-game dining facilities. It's pure fun. Hey, Jen. Look at this. Read it to me. It says here, Key... Out there, I mean, that's just strength. But it's going to happen when you're behind 3-1 and one in the count, 2-1, 2-0. and, one, two and oh. now He knows it there. I mean, it's a tough break for Chad O.J. because he wanted to come over here with a new team. You know, have a good start, give him a good impression, and it's not what he wanted to do, but there's a lot of season left, and basically he just needs to go out there and, and get in his mind that he's going to get ahead of the hitters. What a start he's off to. Yeah, he's doing okay. Jordan hit a home run here yesterday, was three for four. Tonight he's two for two. Pretty good start. Mike Grace, the Phillies' new pitcher. Grace 6'4, 225 pounder. He's now 28 years of age. See what he did last year in the 1998 season. Had a pretty good spring training. Pitched himself onto the ball club, showed he was healthy. It was in eight games in spring training, one as a starter. Klesko leads it off with one out and nobody on base, seven to one in favor of the Atlanta Braves. Low, 2 0. Grace in spring training, we mentioned, was in eight games. He was 1 0 with a 3 3 2 earned run average. Pitched 19 innings, 19 hits, 7 walks, and 13 strikeouts. Strike to Klesko. Klesko has homered and walked. So the Braves came out and put a pounding on. Chad OJ tonight three and a third inning seven hits seven runs earned five walks and a strikeout and three long balls including one by the pitcher Maddox right back through the middle for a base hit by Klesko so Ryan Klesko on with nobody or with one out and that'll bring up Andrew Jones one for two. Gracie got out of the way of this one just in time. He ducked that ball, actually was by him before he ducked. Luckily, he finished in a good position down low because that ball would have crushed him. Yeah, he got hit in spring training with a ball hit by Derek Jeter, but was able to bounce back from it. Here's Jones broken 0 for 37 over two seasons against the Phillies with that double in the second inning and then flat out the center. Hit number eight for Atlanta. Breaking ball misses. Make that two strikeouts for Chad OJ. He had that other strikeout on the wild pitch when Eddie Perez reached first base. Inside, 2 0. Oh. Grace born in Joliet, Illinois, now makes his home in Clearwater. It was a Phil's 10th pick back in June of 1991. Then has battled through a lot of arm problems. Breaking ball, and it's high, 3 0. That one over. Wind starting to blow pretty hard here towards left and left center. The chili. You see the flags. Top this beautiful ballpark, a couple miles from downtown Atlanta. Jones gets a base hit to center field. Clesco will stop at second as Glanville gets it back in. So Grace. Is greeted with back to back hits. And that'll bring up Eddie Perez. Oh, once again, it's the same situation. 3 1 pitch. He's coming with the fastball. Andrew Jones is looking for nothing but a fastball. Hits it right up the middle. 
And that was a runner that ran right back into the middle of the plate, it looked like. Yep. In a real good spot to hit. There is Don Baylor, the new hitting coach over here for the Atlanta Braves. Was manager of the Rockies for a number of years. Also was hitting coach at St. Louis. Perez has lived on that strikeout wild pitch when he got the first base. He's also single. Base hit in the hole to left. Klesko being held at third. Scant gets it back in. So consecutive singles, three straight singles, have loaded the bases for the Braves here in the fourth inning. And they have batted around for the second time in this game. Now this was a pretty good pitch by Mike Grace. It's down low. He wanted to throw a strike down low. You want to get ahead. That's what he wasn't doing. So he does it and they go ahead and swing at the first pitch and hits it right in the hole. Hey, Terry Francona a little bit helpless feeling right now. I'll take my chances. You go out there and throw a good fastball at the knees every time to get ahead. I'll take my chances on having more success that way than nibbling and missing and getting behind. Walt Weiss the batter who's grounded out twice and knocked in his second run of the year on one of them on the ground out and he misses low Maddox is on deck Greg Maddox started this inning by blasting a 3 2 pitch into the seats in left field for his third career homer wild pitch runs going to score everybody moves up. Eight to one now in favor of the Braves as Grace will be charged with a wild pitch and Klesko scores. Well, Lieberthal looks like he's kind of sitting out there. I don't know what that if that was a changeup or what it was. I'd be surprised to see him throwing a 1 0 changeup. Klesko sees it goes back to the screen. He breaks hard, not taking any chances. They want to bring the infield in. It's already eight to one. And the count now two balls and no strikes on Weiss. Grace had a three run second and now a five run fourth. There's Ken Ryan. Down the bullpen. He did not get into the game yesterday. And a strike call. Weiss taps one foul down the first baseline to Bronya. Andrew Jones will have to return to third base. And Eddie Perez, the second. There is Jones, who is two for three tonight. And Perez, who has a couple of hits. And they are loaded again. For Greg Maddox, who got it all started. Now Galen Sisko is going to take a little stroll to the mound. It's a long way from the dugouts here out to the mound. Maddox getting a big ovation from the fans. Maddox hit 240 last year with three doubles and four runs batted in. Hadn't hit a home run since 92. And now Grace gets a talking to by Galen Cisco. Grace has yet to retire batter. They've gone single, single, single walk since he came into the game. Well, it goes right back to it. Just getting behind. You can't, this is a good offensive ball club, but any ball club you can't get behind, you make them a better offensive threat, more of a threat offensively if you're pitching from behind all the time. Grace will work from the stretch with the bases loaded to Maddox. 
And he fouls one right at the plate. As we mentioned, he led off the inning. And here's what he did. He got a 3-2 fastball. He just turned on it. I believe Greg Maddox at that point knew. Not that he stood there and watched it, but he wasn't really busting it. Well, so he could nail a golf ball. So he just, <laughs> and that's sitting still, so he just got that fastball and it out of the ballpark. One ball, one strike to him. One and two. Then they look on helplessly from the dugout because when your pitching blows up, causes your problems in a ball game. That's what's happening here. It's now eight to one in favor of Atlanta. We're only in the fourth. It's a breaking ball looked like, and he fouled it back. Or else he cut that fastball. I think that was a slider. He just got around a little bit and left it up. That's what Maddox did his first time up in this, and he fouled a few pitches off, and then finally got the three-two fastball that he hit out. his leg it's going to bounce into the outfield two runs will score it's 10 to 1 and Maddox has three RBIs in the inning over to third of the play goes Walt Weiss and Gray still hasn't gotten anybody out well, he hits it right back at him. Looks like it went off his right heel and just kicked perfectly in between Bronya and Anderson. Goes into short right field. That goes right off his right calf. Right. Well, Bobby Cox is enjoying that. I mean, it was a tough game for him yesterday, and now all of a sudden he has a laugher. Maddox had four RBIs all of last year. He has three in this inning. Strike called Otis Nixon, who's 0 for 3. Getting his fourth at bat here in the fourth inning, that's not a good sign. There's another hit. Weiss scores 11 to 1. Stopping at second is Maddox. Otis just got out in front of this fastball, I and mean, that's what he does. He just tries to hit the ball on the ground and use his speed as Weiss comes in to score. That's John Scherholz, who's the general manager of this ball club. Real good baseball man. Always has time. You go up to talk to him, answer questions, talk about the game. Class act. Brett Boone. Brett has had a very patient birthday. He has walked three times tonight and scored a run. Twelfth batter to come up here in the fourth inning. What a play by Roland. They're going to get a double play out of this. Scott Rowland just made an unbelievable play, or that would have been another hit. Still, the Braves have an eight run fourth inning. Eight runs, Maddox knocks in three of them, and he has an 11 to 1 lead. Cincinnati Reds, April 27th, 28th, and 29th. Los Angeles Dodgers, April 30th, May 1st, May 2nd, Fanatics' birthday. Call 215-463-1000. Hey, Jen, look at this. Read it to me. It says here Keystone has been voted the number one HMO in the greater Philadelphia area. How about doctors? Number one. 
number one in hospitals and specialists too. Keystone is run by Independence Blue Cross, right? Yeah. Yep. It says here they were number one in all 11 categories of the CARE data study. What do you think? I think we want the number one health plan for us. Keystone, the number one ranked HMO in the greater Philadelphia area. Another reason you can lean on us. What do you look for in grass seed? Quick results? We seeded it with Scott's seed last fall. As soon as I planted it, boom, it just came in. A really terrific lawn? And it feels like crushed velvet under your feet. It's wonderful. How about weeds? Bargain brands can contain thousands of weed seeds that can ruin your lawn forever. You can spend a dollar or two less for a bag of seed. But you don't want weeds in your grass seed. Scott's Premium Grass Seed, 99 and 99 one hundredths percent weed free for a beautiful lawn guaranteed. The HERS don't use just any potatoes. But then the HERS don't make just any potato chip. Make the great taste of HERS yours. You know that old expression, it could have been worse? Well, it was pretty bad, but it could have been. Now, this is just a tremendous play by Scott Rowland because that ball had base hit written all over it. He dives, throws his glove up because the ball came up on him and makes a perfect throw to Marlin. Marlin makes a return throw to Bronia and saves any more damage. Boy, what a great play. Changes the Braves are going to give a couple guys a night off already. Ozzie Gian comes in to play shortstop. And Brian Hunter now back with the Braves moves in to replace Klesko at first and Weiss out of the game, of course, at short. But Doug Glanville leads it off. He's 0 for 2 as Greg Maddox now has an 11 to 1 lead. So it'll be up to Maddox now and how far he wants to go tonight. I will guarantee you one thing Greg Maddox will not change the way he pitches with a 10 run lead or a 1 run lead. It's the worst thing a pitcher can do. You got to stay with your game. Misses away. One ball and two strikes. Phillies actually, it's hard to believe, but I mean, they had a pretty good approach to him early in this game and took a one to nothing lead. But since then, 11 unanswered runs by the Atlanta Braves. Tough play. Maddox. No. Only because Glanville has that great speed that he beat it because Greg Maddox made a terrific play. <laughs> Fabulous play by Greg Maddox. He got it kind of like a basket and just flipped it. Sidearm submarine type. Look at that. Just quick off his back leg. Perfect throw. Jeez. No offense, Andy, since this was your former profession. But he is really athletic. Not a lot of pitchers can do those kind of Contrary things. Contrary to some others. Well, yeah, I say <laughs> I don't want to beat on pitchers and their athleticism, but he's amazing. He's great. I, mean, I can just hear it in your voice. You really admire oh, what yeah. he did there. Marlon Anderson, the batter, he's grounded out and lined out the center. I would have been happy to catch that. Yeah, I mean, you, you could have fallen when you threw that. You could have slept. Could you know? have fallen on my way over there. Easily. And half. <laughs> in fact, you've probably seen it. Oh, I saw it. Marlon swings and misses one and one. Now, you know Greg Maddox sat on that bench yesterday. Watch Marlon Anderson do the things that he did. And he had a plan for him tonight. Greg Maddox will expose any young hitter. He will let everybody else know what you got to do to get this guy out or any other young hitter. Marlon hits it into right field. He jammed him there. And play out there by the right fielder Brian Jordan. One away here in the fifth. The Fanatics birthday that's always a fun day at Veterans Stadium that'll be on Sunday May the 2nd at 1 35. The Dodgers will be in town. Call the phone center right now. Operators are standing by to get your tickets for Phillies baseball this year. 215-463-1000. Order online anytime at phillies.com. Fans 14 and under get a Fanatic bean bag in fun beach jams attire. Compliments of Mellon PSFS rolling in the center field. Scott doubled his first time up. He's since now lined out to right and fly to Andrew Jones two away. Doug Glanville remaining at first base. One of the thing about Maddox, he gets ready in a hurry too. Yeah. Well, it, Scott Rowland last two times up has swung at the first pitch, got two fastballs and swung at them both. And he had a great at bat against Maddox's first yep. time up. Got the three two before doubling over Jones's head and center. Rico has struck out and singled to left field. Thankfully for the Phillies, showing no ill effects from that pitch that hit him yesterday. Glavin got him on the wrist. 
Hunter, the new first baseman, makes a bronia like play. Maddox right there. Got it. No runs a hit, no errors. Phil's leave one. Braves come to bat in the bottom of the inning, and they have a big lead. They lead it 11 to 1. With Bell Atlantic Mobile, you can make important calls from just about everywhere. Like the, what time's the meeting call, or the, I can't make it call. That's because everything we do is for one reason. That moment when you make the, we're going to be a little late call. Beth. Mom, are you all right? Yes. Your father's just taking one of his shortcuts. Your call goes through. A cell phone is only as good as the network it's on. Choose Bell Atlantic Mobile. to introduce America's best warranty. One with 10 years, 100,000 miles powertrain coverage. Five years, 60,000 miles bumper-to-bumper -bumper protection. And five years, unlimited mileage roadside assistance. Who makes such solid cars that they can offer a warranty this strong? Introducing the Hyundai Advantage. It's yours on every 1999 Hyundai. Time now for the Dodge Stump, the Experts Trivia Quiz. Name the three non-Atlanta Braves to win the Cy Young Award this decade. And a hint, the years are 90, 92, and 97, submitted by Stacy Edelman from Wilmington, Delaware. I think we got one of them earlier. Didn't know about the question. Sorry, Stacy. We'll try and get the other two. Chipper Jones, the batter, he swings and misses. He's one for three tonight. He singled and scored a run. There are the lopsided totals as we are in the bottom of the fifth inning. Seven runs charged to OJ, four to Grace. Jones, a smash. Abreu one hops it. And it'll be a base hit for Chipper Jones. Second base umpire Sam Holbrook into the outfield made the definitive sign that he had trapped that ball. Well, Bray who tries to come in, he just can't get it get there in time. The ball is slicing back towards him. Lifts it up. Sometimes, you know, the umpire, if they're not out there, you can deke him into shots. They're making him think you caught it. That was close. It was close. Brian Jordan, what a start he's off to for the Atlanta Braves. Makes his home here. Fly ball to deep center field, but this one will stay in the ballpark. And they're going to retire Brian Jordan for the first time tonight. Jordan had Walked and scored, singled, and then hit a three run home run to dead center. One out here in the fifth. <laughs> Brian Hunter getting his first at bat. Hunter was with the Atlanta Braves for quite a few years and has drifted around to a number of other teams. They have him back here to platoon at first. Lined in the left. Gant. Nice running play. Ron Gant. Chipper Jones has to re-tag second. Relaford's got a shot at him. He is out at first base. A great relay by Desi Relaford. Seven, six, three on the double play. That was pretty spectacular. That was outstanding. Good throw by Relaford after a spectacular catch by Gant. And the Phillies, who are down by 10, show a little leather here. Boom! Base hit left center field. Oh, what? Los Angeles Dodgers, April 30th, May 1st. Got it. May 2nd, Fanatics' birthday. Catch, good night, a double play. Swing. San Diego Padres, May 3rd and 4th. May 5th, Business Person Special. 
champ, home run! Can you believe it? The promise of the internet is not in the future. It's now. The bandwidth to change everything. Ride the light. Hi, I'm Maximum Protection, the authority for Napa Gold filters. Today's driving conditions are severe, with frequent stopping and road dirt. But I hold 45% more dirt than the leading national brand. And that's important, because I help your engine last longer. So put me to work and get the maximum protection of Napa Gold filters. Get a maximum beanbag toy, $1.99 when you buy two Napa Gold filters. Time now for that Dodge Stump the Experts trivia question submitted by Stacy Edelman from Wilmington. Named the three non-Atlanta Braves to win the Cy Young Award this decade. 90, 92, and 97. Well, we know it was Maddox in 97. When 92. It, when he was with the Cubs. How about Pedro Martinez in 97? Pedro Martinez, 97, and Doug Drabeck. Doug Drabeck in 90. I think we got it. Nice going, Andy. Doug Drabeck, Greg Maddox with the Cubs, and Pedro Martinez in 97. Ken Ryan now up in the Phillies bullpen as Ron Gant leads it off. He made a great play to Boy. start that inning ending double play Gant fouls one back still looking for his first hit of the year he's now 0 for 6 has grounded out and struck out tonight Gant then Abreu and Lieberthal due to bat Maddox misses Maddox has given up a run on seven hits he has 11 runs, and his teammates have 13 hits. Actually, he has two of those. Gant swings and misses. Two and two. Two of those with three RBIs. In the same inning. Had a home run and a bases loaded single. He had a career year, a career, a career, career, what do you call it? He had a career in one inning for me. Oh. <laughs> he had a home run. I mean, yeah. He got an RBI. Yeah. Can't nubs one. Maddox can't get there, but he covers first. Hunter flips to him. Well, Brian Hunter's made back-to-back -back great plays. One away. Well, one thing Brian Hunter did right there, he kept going for the ball. Greg Maddox did not call him off. If that pitcher does not call you off, you got to keep going for the ball as a first baseman. Maddox realizes he can't get there. Hunter, a nice underhand flip. Backhanded to Maddox, who is... As you talked about before, so athletic. Great job. See, Hunter doesn't ever slow down. He just goes after the ball the whole time. They just get Gant. Abreu is singled and struck out. He scored the Phillies' only run on an RBI single by Desi Relliford. That back in the second inning. Two and zero. Oh. Hit for Abreu right past the umpire Holbrook out there as Andrew Jones will get it back in. So Bobby Abreu has two hits tonight. Business person special. These are always a lot of fun. The first one will be against the National League champion San Diego Padres on Wednesday, May the 5th at 105. They are the Mellon PSFS business person special. Pure afternoon fun at the bat. So make your plans to come on out with family or friends. Maybe even take your boss out for an afternoon of brown nosing. That's great springtime action. 215 463 1000 or online at phillies.com. You go to the Center City Ticket Office at the Pennsylvania Convention Center Wednesday, May the 5th at 105. Lieberthal has two hits. Oh, what a play by Brett Boone. Boone, a gold glover, and. Brett makes an outstanding play there. Two outs. Rob Lieberthal of his third hit of the game. And almost had a double play. Looked like he could not get the ball out of his glove. A little cutter there by Maddox right off the end of the bat of Lieberthal. Look how high Booney gets up there. And he just 
He didn't have a hold of it, and he made did a smart thing by hanging on to it. <laughs> he got some ups. That jumped pretty high then. No, he didn't get that from his dad. No. Aaron's pretty athletic. He got that from Sue. <laughs> Desi is one for two tonight. He's singled in a run. They have another brother, Matthew, who's in the Detroit Tigers organization. And Ray Boone, the grandfather, Bob, the father. And both brothers say he's really good. Brett figures he's going to play, and so does Aaron. He'll play in the big league someday. Three guys from the same family. Five overall when you right, count yeah. Grandpa and Dad. Think of the Alou brothers, three of them playing in the major leagues. The Maggios, of course. And there are probably others. Breaks his back. Hunter again. Maddox right there. Got him. That'll do it. In the inning. No runs. One hit. No errors. Phil's lead. One more on base. It's 11 to 1. Greg Maddox and the Atlanta Braves lead it. Home opener. April 12th. Atlanta Braves. April 14th and 15th. Florida Marlins. April 16th, 17th, and 18th. Call 215-463-1000. There's ordinary beer, and then there's Michelob. Beer or Michelob? to you by your local Dodge dealers and by smooth rich tasting Michelob beer or Michelob so we mentioned it was up to Greg Maddox tonight to decide how far he wants to go well it'll be six and the Braves will go to the bullpen give some guys a chance to get a little bit of work tonight as Maddox will win this game that's a new player they just brought up from the minor leagues by the name of Darren Ebert as they put Mike Remlinger on the disabled list today. He's a left hander. Jones swings and misses. Andrew Jones tonight is two for three with a double and a couple of runs scored. His first two hits of the 99 season. That's one thing. You got 11 to 1 lead and you go out there and you swing the bat like that. In a sense, it's almost showing a guy up. Instead, of, I mean, he looked like he just tried to leave Earth on that pitch. Guy does that, you want to buzz him a little bit. Down a little bit low. Yeah, you see that happen in situations where guys swing 3 and 0 when they have a big lead and right. they get dropped. Or someone after them does. So there's little, little things in the game that are unwritten, but the players are supposed to know it. He jams Jones, does grace, and a pop up to shortstop. Desi Relaford puts it away. One out here in the sixth. The and that will bring up Eddie Perez, who's had a good ball game. Two for three. Struck out, but got on on a wild pitch. And then a single twice and scored one of the Atlanta runs. Grace coming on behind OJ in the fourth. Eddie Perez who catches when Greg Maddox is on the mound gives Javi Lopez a night off. You see who's up in the bullpen? Yeah, it's uh, it's that uh, that Ed, uh, Ebert, like Roger. D 
Darren Ebert. Thumbs up. There he is. See, I could see him. Two balls and one strike to Eddie Perez. So Ebert, who pitched last year at AAA for the Atlanta Braves, will be coming into the ball game. That's hit well to left field. Gant going back. He has room and makes the play for the second out. Six game packs. Brand new way to enjoy the Phillies in 99. It's the Phillies six game pack. They come with a free seventh game versus either the champion Yankees or Cal Ripken Jr. and the Orioles when you purchase any one of the various Phillies six game packs. They start as low as $36. They go up to 120. That's for seven total games. What a deal. 215 463 1000. Make that call tomorrow. Don't forget you can order by phone at Phillies or by. Your computer at Phillies.com. Roland bobbles, throws. That'll be an error on Scott Roland on a routine play. You won't see that happen very often as Ozzie Gian hit it right at him and he bobbled it. That ball might have come up a little bit. Looked like he hit off the end of the bat. Might have had a little English on it. As it came up on Scotty. Kind of looked like it just went up his glove. They're right off the end of the bat. See how the ball he kind of got in between hops. It came up on him and Tries to recover and make the throw and just can't quite do it. And there's another look at it. And you know he retreated on it a little bit yeah. too. As you said he got caught in between and when you get caught in between you usually get into trouble. So Randall Simon's going to come out right now and bat. And Scott is charged with his first error of the year. Actually his second error on the Phillies this season. Here is Randall Simon. You see what he did with Richmond last year. Their triple A affiliate. Batted 318 in spring training in 21 games with a homer and four runs batted in. Stockily built left handed batter. Gian on at first base. He came into the game replacing Walt Weiss. There is Kurt Schilling and Chad OJ talking it over. This Chad OJ still down on the bench even though he was knocked out of this game in the fourth inning. Simon takes it outside 2 and 0. Grace due to bat first for the Phillies in the seventh. So they want to get him through this inning without having to use another pitcher. Oh, 3 and 0. This guy is a menacing looking hitter. Look how far in front of the plate he's standing. He's almost like daring you to throw fastball inside. Oh, Gracie just threw a little tight slider in there. Looked like a pretty good pitch. Look how far in front of the plate he is. Yeah, most guys get as far back as they right. can if they if they're going to go to extremes. And as you point out, he's way up front. That's the way Lonnie Smith used to hit. Mm -hmm. He used to get up there and then he put right that on. put that left arm out. Yeah. I don't know why he'd want to be any closer to the pitcher. Breaks his bat and the base hit the left field. So Simon. Loops one in the left. And the Braves have two men on with two outs. The top of the order, Otis Nixon, who is one for four with an RBI single. Well, he tries to come in there again. He actually ball runs back over the plate. They just a big long swing, hits it kind of about the label, gets jammed a little bit, but strong enough to get it into left field. And that will bring up Nixon. With runners at first and second, Ozzie Gee in the runner at second, and Randall Simon on at first. Nixon has that a hitting approach. It's amazing how well he's done all these years. He almost is running yeah. as he swings left-handed. You faced him. Yeah. You got to play him the other way. Well, he busted it down the line in the second inning and beat a play. 40 year old guy running like that. I'm sure, that's hard to identify with, isn't it? For me, extremely. <laughs> I'm out scoop. of breath. I get out of breath just getting out of bed. Long climb to that press box at Wrigley <laughs> for you. Oh, yeah. Two and one. Will have a play. 
to Desi Relaford. That'll do it. No runs a hit, an error, and two men left on base. Larry Anderson will return tomorrow night to television land. Harry Callis on his way over 11 1 Atlanta. Cincinnati Reds. April 27th, 28th, and 29th. Los Angeles Dodgers. April 30th, May 1st. May 2nd, Fanatics' birthday. Call 215-463-1000. The promise of the Internet is not in the future. It's now. The bandwidth to change everything. Ride the light. Okay, babe, here we go. Um, now, move over to the right. Um, no, the other way, my right. A little more. Mm, a little more. Perfect. How was it? Beautiful. If you think the Cavalier looks good, wait till you know it can go up to 100,000 miles before its first scheduled tune-up. Chevy Cavalier. The more you know, the better it looks. Genuine Chevrolet. After six innings of play, the Braves 11, the Phillies 1. Tomorrow night at 7.30, the Sixers head up the Jersey Turnpike for a division battle with the Nets. Don't miss a second of the action tomorrow night at 7.30, right here on UPN 57. Atlanta Braves continue to make some changes. Gerald Williams will now come into the game. He'll play left field. And the Braves, believe it or not, had to make a pitching change. Mike Remlinger re-injured his side, throwing in the bullpen yesterday, so... Darren Ebert was already up here just in case Remlinger couldn't go. They activated him this afternoon. So Harry Callis, Darren Ebert, a left-hander out of Anaheim, California, will be making his major league debut as Alex Arias comes up for the Phils. Ebert is 6'3", 200 pounds. He's a 22-year-old. He was an 18th round selection in the June 94 draft. Last year at Richmond, 9-9 nine nine as a starter with a 4-5-1 ERA. Arias batting for Mike Grace. 29,183, the paid attendance here tonight. One ball and one strike. Either went to Cal State Fullerton. Two balls and a strike to Alex Arias. Three and one to Arias. So Greg Maddox goes six innings. He knocks in more than he lets in, giving up just one run. Those chipped away for eight hits off him, but could score only one. He walked one and struck out five while he was in there. It's a normal Maddox line. You know he's going to have low walk totals. He didn't walk anybody, did he? No. No walks and five strikeouts. Right. It's even more like him. Yeah. I couldn't believe there were three pitchers that had fewer walks per nine in the National League than he did last year. He was fourth in fewest walks per nine innings to. Leader was Brian Anderson of Phoenix. Right. Rick Reed of the Mets, you understand that. He throws strikes. But Lima, Jose Lima was third best in the league. That surprised me. Arias hits it in the gap all the way to left center field, and Alex will be aboard with a pinch hit double. Well, this gives uh, Bobby Cox a chance to look at this young pitcher and see whether he can fit into their plans or not. Alex just levels off on this fastball and lines it into the gap in left center field. He's an excellent pinch hitter. He'll help the ball club a lot this year in many ways. 
Yeah, and it's it's one of the one of the reasons that Dave Doster made this club because last year Alex was a guy that you had to keep. You couldn't you really use him as a pinch hitter that much in case Relaford went down. He was the only other player that could play shortstop, and now Doster can do that. So kind of freeze areas to be a to be a valuable pinch hitter off the bench. Right, and that's why they used Doster a little bit at the end of spring training at shortstop just to see if uh, they could use him out there if they have to during the season. Dave Doster. Now Glanville has one hit and three at bats. Two balls and no strikes to Glanville. In the outfield, time is called. Gerald Williams goes over to pick it up. Three and nothing to Glanville. Eber, when you look at his walk strikeout ratio, not that hot while he was in the minor leagues, and he gave up 195 hits and 163 and two third innings last year. So he's a guy that has a lot of base runners. Gets that one over, three balls and a strike to Glanville. Half fly into right field, Jordan coming on. The play for out number one. It'll bring up Marlon Anderson. Marlon hitless so far tonight as Arias stays at second base. Anderson is grounded out, twice flied out. Yeah, and he got a little lesson tonight facing Greg Maddox, getting an idea of one of the best of all time and how Maddox works hitters. See another goodie tomorrow night in Smoltz. Yep. He'll be happy he's batting left handed against him. Smoltz has some nasty stuff. He will be opposed by Carlton Lower tomorrow night. A 17 and 3 year against Carlton Lower tomorrow night. The Braves pitcher was one of Cy Young Award. There's Carlton Lower who pits at Triple A before coming up with the Phillies, so he probably knows his left hander a little bit. And you know Marlins hit off him. Marlon Anderson spending last year at Scranton Wilkesbury and this guy in the Richmond in the Richmond team. It's a foul down the first base side. One and two to Marlon Anderson. You know, he's going to pull off against certain left handers. You can't help it. But one thing you notice about him, saw in spring training and here early in this season, is he stays in there pretty well against left handers. That's a great sign for a young player. The Braves the same way. So they have two hitters that can, you know, left handed hitters, everyday players who can hit left handed pitching. Improved in that category certainly last year. Right, he got better. Two and two the count to Marlon Anderson. Fair ball hits the bag, gets by Hunter down the right field line. Alex Arias will score. An RBI double for Marlon Anderson, and it's now an 11 to 2 ball game. Anderson knocks in his fourth run of the season here in game two. Brian Hunter's made some really good plays since he came into the game, and he was diving to catch that ball. And then, as Harry says, it hits the bag. You'll see here, fastball a little bit middle in. Hunter dives where he thinks it's going to come up, and then when it hits a bag, it just hops over him. Arias coming on to score. Scott Rowland. Has 
doubled, lined out to right and flied out to center. Two balls and no strikes to Roland. Two and one to Scott Rowland. Need to see if he chipped his bat on the foul ball. Three and one to Rowland. Three and two to Roland. Marlon Anderson, the runner at second with one out, a run across. Get fouled on the left field side. Broke his bat on that. They're announcing that the last pitcher to have two hits in an inning in the National League was Todd Stottlemyre, St. Louis, a few years ago. Alex did that tonight in the fourth inning, hitting a home run and a single and knocking him three runs. Now has three, two of his three lifetime homers against the Phillies. That other one we remembered vividly, he hit it into the street in a night game at Wrigley off Kyle Abbott. Yeah. Bobby Cox and Liam Mazzoni relaxed this evening. Home oh, works the walk. <laughs> so relaxed now. <laughs> well, he was either he's either upset at the home plate umpire for that or the or the uh, or the uh, pitcher for walking. I think more for. I think he's angry at his own pitcher. player. Yeah, I don't think he's not upset at Belford. Rico Bronya slugs it fair or foul. It's a foul ball. Yeah, that'll get him upset again. Here's Coxie. I mean, he's just trying to get this uh, Ebert into a game and see what he has and uh, get this one over with. And all of a sudden, the Phillies are kicking up a little fuss here. So Atlanta does get the bullpen up. They have an 11 to 2 lead. But they also want to get some outs here. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he may go just so far with this experiment. Mark Wallers had such a difficult 